Okay guys, welcome back. Alex has requested a special uh, video. What's yeah, it? well, it's, I'm going to call it Coach's Corner, oh, okay. I think. Is that um, what the title has to be? Well, yeah, I think so, that's what we'll call okay. it, Coach's awesome. Corner. Um, because obviously the big news is Paul Gustard, head coach at Harlequins, yeah. is now no longer an England coach. Mm. What are England going to do now? Because they're now interim attack coach. Yeah. Will, that, will that or won't that be permanent? Needs at to the be end of the summer, it needs good. to, but there's still no guarantees. No, and now they've got to find a defence coach. Yeah, yeah, in they've time got a little bit of time. Series. Yeah, oh, no, no, but it's afterwards. Is it? Afterwards, no. Gus oh, okay. going on the summer tours. They do have time, but is there availability? Yeah, because what you'd want ideally is for yeah. that replacement coach to go on the summer tour. Ideally, but then yeah, in, in an ideal world, that'd be a rush, wouldn't it? It would be a bit of a rush, but there, I, I'd imagine there are a few options out there. Gone. So Mike Ford, I think, yes. is in the running. I think done the job before would make sense. Has been a head coach at Bath. Yeah. Has had success. Mm -hmm. Has had success with England in that specific in, in role. that role, yeah. And is currently probably, I would imagine. I don't know. I'm, don't talk to him, but I would no? imagine okay. he is he's available if requested. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you can turn down coaching England at the World Cup. No. He's a rugby man, he's got his son in yeah, the yeah, team. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, I'd be happy if it, was, if it was Mike Ford. Yeah. But the ideal situation would be, obviously... Go for it. Sean Edwards. It okay? would. It would be Sean Edwards. Now... I just want to quickly um, go back, see, rewind a little bit. Mm. I'm not blaming Gustard for leaving particularly no, because no. if he wants to become a head coach, like the jobs like Harlequins just do not come up every day. Mm. Okay, and it would be too much to turn down. Whether or not he was finding it tough in the England camp working with Eddie Jones, we don't really know. No, but even if he was having a great time, yeah, he would be hard to turn this job down. I mean, it's looking at that. From a, from a career progression point of view, isn't it? Mm. You've got Eddie Jones, top of the tree, yep. very much rules the roost. Yep. But all the talk is about Steve Borthwick. When yeah. Eddie Jones leaves, mm -hmm. Steve Borthwick is the one to take over that role. We so Gustav will then ago, go we? yeah. and do the same job again, potentially. Yeah. So we'll where does move on. all move on? So yeah. where's his career progression yeah. in that England camp? Yeah, and I think the other so thing, which initially it was like, oh no, but yeah. actually it's probably not so bad because you know you can get a defensive setup sorted in you know half a season sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. It's not complicated. What's hard is getting everyone to buy into it. Yeah. And the fact that it can be very dynamic. Mm. So you're applying basic rules, but in lots of different situations, get yeah. everyone to buy into it. Yeah. And there's a huge motivation factor there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so although we say the time has been bad, I yeah. mean the timing could be perfect because could. actually you've got someone in coming in new. Yes. Fresh ideas mm -hmm. reinvigorate the English defence, which was a little bit lacklustre during yeah. the Six Nations. I mean, Gustav's done a great job, but yeah. certainly the Six Nations was awful in every respect. Yeah, it was. Attack yeah. and defence. So well, maybe this is a good time better. to really reinvigorate things and in perfect time get, for the World Cup. If you can get out. a decent guy in there. It, yeah, you, but you need experience. For me personally, you need someone English. Okay. So going back, the ideal for England would be Sean Edwards. Okay? Yeah. Let's deal with, if he went, if they offered it to him, it would be hard for him to turn it down. Yeah. Because he is English through and through. Mm. Um, and he was looking at the Harlequin's job as well. So he's obviously thinking about yeah. possibly moving. Yeah. But it would be very tough on Wales. It would. If I was a Welsh fan, I'd be properly annoyed. Yeah? Yeah. Because Sean Edwards has been at Wales for a long time. But I think Warren Gatlin would be... Fairly annoyed as well. Yeah. I think he's yeah. fairly annoyed, yeah, yeah definitely. It may be very annoyed. Yeah. Um, he's been there for a long time. He you know, Sean Edwards has been instrumental in Wales's rise, you yeah. know, he's done unbelievably well. Mm. Like I said, it's hard to keep the defence, you know, at that high level for such a long time and he's yeah. done that. Yeah, agreed. And I'm sure the Welsh fans would agree that he has given everything to Wales. Mm. You know, you almost don't think of him as an Englishman there. You no, think of him as part no. of the Welsh furniture. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. If he was to leave Wales, though, you know, in the lurch a bit, that opinion could change quite quickly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he would probably leave in the next 18 months anyway, wouldn't he? Because I can't imagine him, when Gatlin leaves, yeah. I can't imagine no. him staying. I think no, they no. both, that whole coaching set, not the whole coaching setup, sure. but he would leave with Gatlin, I sure. would imagine. I, I, would, I would expect so. But if the offer came from England, you know, a good financial offer as mm. well, you know, compensating uh, Wales. Yeah. There is time to get a new guy in, although I'm sure Wales would want to keep him in an yeah, ideal definitely. world. Yeah, definitely. 
I mean, it's just, it, it opens up options, doesn't it? Yeah. And it opens up big questions and will, will Sean Edwards go? Will they look elsewhere for mm -hmm. a couple of free agents just to kind of block it over until the World Cup? Yeah. Or do they go for somebody young, invigorating? Yeah. I mean, ideally, it's, this happens after the World Cup and they bring Stuart Lancaster across and he, <laughs> but he bridges the attack coach because he's done yeah. such a good job at yeah. Leinster. Well, to run it, I think the, the best bet, if you were to bet, not what mm. you do, is Stuart Lancaster actually going coaching Ireland next. Not as yeah. a head coach, yeah. assistant coach to someone like um, Conor O'Shea. Yeah. I think Ireland would really like that. Yeah, agreed. And because he doesn't have the history as he does with England, I could almost see that working. And he'll know all the players from Leinster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, anyway. <laughs> Let's that's on the side. That's but it's interesting video. if you guys have got any other people that you think might yep. be in the frame for it as well. Mm -hmm. Chuck them in a comment. Let us yeah. know. If you're a Welsh fan, what would you feel like if Sean Edwards did leave Wales mm -hmm. at this point? Would you be fuming or would you be like, okay, we've got time to yeah. find someone else? Yeah. Cool. Anyway, that's just a little snippet there, guys. Let us know yeah. what you think, and we'll probably speak to you after the first of the tour games. Yeah. Exciting times. Cool. Until then, see you later.